Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. So we are here today at the Cape Cod Cafe, which is located on Broadway in Rainham. We're here with John, the owner. And I uh, want you to tell us a little bit about yourself, John. Uh, my name is Jonathan Jamoulis. Um, out of this family business, we have uh, three restaurants. Uh, the main one's in Brockton. Uh, this Rainham one's been here for about six years. Okay. Um, uh, my brother, my mother, my father, and myself, just four of us, uh, family owned. We do a lot of the work ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just keeping up working, it's, it's a good time. Good, good. And what kind of foods do you serve here? Mostly pizzas, salads, and sandwiches. We do have soups also, uh, some appetizers, but our main focus is pizza. Got That's it. what we do best. And um, is there something on the menu that, that's considered like a fan favorite or is there something that sells more than... There's a, there's a few good unique pizzas <laughs> on the menu. I like cheese, of course, that's the most popular. But we also have a Tex-Mex, which has um, chips and chili right on the pizza. And then we top with lettuce and tomato and onion, sour cream, comes out real nice. We also have a calzone. And it's not like a calzone you get at, a, at any other pizza shop, but you know, one hand. This calzone is, is good for at least two people. It's huge. Good. And it's, it's just, it's an awesome, awesome. Maybe that's what I'll get. Yeah, it's excellent. <laughs> so you've been in this facility for six years. Yes. Um, what is the atmosphere like? What's, what's the staff like? Do they get along? Is it, is it oh. upbeat, up outgoing? I can't say enough about the, No, I can't say enough about the staff. They're excellent. Um, a few people we brought here from our Brockton store to work here. Um, just everybody gets along great, you know, great chemistry. Customers are unbelievable. Good. I mean, real supportive of us. It's very nice. It's a great town. Of course, yeah. I grew up here. <laughs> You're a little biased. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a, great, it's a great town. Very supportive of us. Nice. Very nice, yes. Good. The staff is excellent. Real experienced. You know, any, anything you, you want, they can pretty much accommodate. So you did mention that this was a family-run business, that this particular location has been here for six years. What is the history behind um, the chain or your family mm. running these, these restaurants? Well, the Cape Cod Cafe was started by, well, was purchased by my grandfather back in 1947, but it's been here since 1939 in Brockton. Oh, wow. In the Brockton location. Um, always as the Cape Cod Cafe? Always, always as the Cape the Cod name? Cafe since 1939, yes. That's on Main Street in Brockton. And then uh, as, as Brockton evolved, we decided to, to branch up because people started moving out of Brockton, mm -hmm. like I did when I was younger. <laughs> we moved to Rainham. Yeah. And uh, we decided to go to Rainham. And then a year later, we decided to go to Bridgewater. And everything stays the same. We get people that, that come in there for 50 years and say, the food is still the same, the pizza yeah. is still the same. And we work hard for that. Good, nice yeah. tradition to have. Yeah, we try. Good. And is there something on the menu that that's your favorite? Is there something that you always order? You probably spend a lot of time here. Is there something that you... See, I always order something different, but I always order a lot of toppings, but go light on the toppings. Mm -hmm. So you get all that flavor in the pizza, <laughs> you know, without an overload of, right. of toppings. And so it's really good. You get a little crispy. You can have it any way you want. You want extra dough, thin dough, extra sauce, light sauce, light cheese, extra cheese, any way you want. You want to cook less, you want to cook more, mm -hmm. any way you want, we do it. So I always get mine a little crispy. Kind of holds together a little better. Right. The flavor of the dough. Well, I look forward to, uh, to trying one out. Maybe we can go out in the back and, and take a look. And yeah, sure. Let's do we'll a couple pieces. Right. Sure. Thank you. Sure. So we're now back in the kitchen at the Cap, uh, Cape Cod Cafe with John. And we've got Jerry here. And uh, Jerry's going to show us how some of these uh, great foods are made. Um, John, why don't you sort of... Sure. Uh, what Jerry's doing, we call it padding a pizza. And it's pretty much pushing the, pe pushing the pizza out to the edge of the pan. Um, the dough, the dough comes from Brockton. It's uh, made by uh, my brother and I and another another guy in Brockton. Handmade dough, handmade all dough. handmade dough. Yeah. And um, so right now, what he's going to do is we push the dough out. He's going to sauce the pizza, and we make our own sauce too. We blend our own sauce, wow. our own ingredients. Only a few people know the recipe. <laughs> You're not going to share that with it's us today, are you? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't think so. <laughs> so. So Jerry just sauced the pizza. Uh, all the way, almost all the way to the edge. It's a very thin crust pizza. Right. So we want to get it all the way to the edge. Now he's going to put the cheese on. And we also blend our own cheese. It's a, it's a mixture cheese blend that we use. We blend our own cheese daily. Dough, sauce, cheese, everything's made daily and shipped here every day. So shipped from the Brockton from facility Brockton. to here. Yeah. Everything's fresh, nothing frozen. We try to do everything right, you know. How you would do it at home is what you, how we want to do it here. Right. Yeah, but yeah. a customer can get thin dough, extra dough. Right. You know, regular dough. Extra sauce, thin sauce. Customized. Yeah. yeah it's a customized sauce. pizza. You know, yeah, it's any way you want it. So you did mention that you've got a lot of different types of pizzas. What are we going to make here today? We're What's gonna Jerry going to make We're going to make, make a Tex-Mex pizza. I spoke of this earlier where yep. there's chili and chips on a pizza. 
Sounds crazy, mm. but it's, uh, it's really good. It goes together really well. And after it's cooked, we're gonna put lettuce and tomato and onion on it. Oh, wow. And uh, sour cream. That sounds delicious. It comes out great. Wow, that smells delicious. So it's a layer of chili and then it's a pile of chips. And then, so the chips don't burn, we put another layer of chili on it. Now, is this a recipe that you guys came up with on your own, or is it something that's yeah, been, just, you've had for a while? Well, it's been around for about 20 years, it maybe. Has. But, uh, yeah, it has. Seems so unique. It's very unique. Yeah. And, and you would think the chips would get soggy on a pizza yeah, or, or uh, burnt, but it, it comes out really well. The chips are still crisp inside. It comes together real nice. I'm going to top it with a pile of cheese on there. Because everybody knows cheese is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. He's going to throw it in the oven in about 15 minutes. It'll come out. He's going to top it with the... Uh, and that's when you put all the extra stuff yes. on it, the lettuce and tomatoes. Yes, that's what's correct. Wow. So what Jerry's going to make right now is, as you see, our vegetables over there, onions, mm -hmm. peppers, and mushrooms. Jerry's going to make a mushroom pizza. These mushrooms, we get, we get them fresh, and we cook them ourselves. So if we have a fresh mushroom pizza. Wow. not canned. It's not canned at all. Comes out great. Very it's popular. hard to find these days. There's a lot of fresh ingredients. So it's, well, it's fresh is expensive. Yeah. Fresh also takes a lot of labor, too. Right. Right. But it makes such a difference. Yep. And you can see we've already got the Tex Mex in the oven as well. Right. What Jerry's doing there is popping bubbles. Popping Sometimes if the, the dough gets air in it, so he has to pop the bubbles on it. Got it. And then no. we're also going to make a calzone. Yes, is we're right? going to make a calzone. Right. So, calzone is um, onions, peppers, and mushrooms, tomatoes. And we're going to make our most popular, which is chicken broccoli. Wow. Like I said earlier, these are very big. Yeah. Very big. That's a lot of stuffing. Broccoli, we cook our broccoli ourselves. Comes in fresh. There's a lot of prep work that goes into running a shop There's like a lot this. Of prep I mean, work it's not. Just opening the bag and dumping it in. Right, You've got right. to cook the chicken, cook the mushrooms, cook the broccoli, yep. cut it, make the dough, make the sauce, cut the, blend the cheese. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot for anybody it. who thinks that maybe running a pizza shop is a, is a little easy, it's, right. it's not. There's right. a lot I mean, of work just that the chicken goes alone. into it. Chicken's fresh, it's not frozen. Right. We bring it in, we marinate it overnight, we cook it, wow. and then we cut it up, yep. and then we put it on the pizza. So right. There's a lot of steps just for a chicken pizza. And that's you know? probably have to do it daily as well, because oh, yeah, you want the ingredients to be fresh. We go through so. a lot of product too. Right. So it works out well. So Jerry just put a wow. huge amount of cheese on top Look of it. Look at that thing. And then you roll like it I up. Like I said, this isn't for one person. Well, you could try it if you're, <laughs> if you're daring. You should have a contest. <laughs> Start a contest. They have those big burger things. You do a <laughs> yeah, big right. calzone contest. So Aside Jerry's going to fold it over, fold over the edge. He puts a little oil on it, covers it in tin foil so the dough doesn't burn. And he throws it in the oven. He's take a little right. bit to cook. Looks like a turkey breast. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So these ovens, um, these ovens take about 15, 20 minutes to cook a pizza. And are they set at a certain level? Yeah, yeah, they're 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 hot. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trick to a, to a you know a pizza oven hot. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we bake our pizza, so it takes a little longer. You know, mm -hmm. customers call up. We're gonna tell them 20, 25 minutes because it takes a while to bake a pizza. Right. And everything's made to order. Right. Made by hand, made to order. Right. Customized. So. Yep. So those are cooked for a little while. And That's great. You can do whatever you yeah. want. Great. And we'll, we'll try them out and see. Uh, we'll see which one's our All favorite. Right. I can't wait. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> so what Jerry's pulling out now is a Tex-Mex pizza. As we talked about this earlier with the chili and the chips. Uh, and then after that, we're going to put a shred of lettuce and diced tomato, a little bit of onion and black olive, and then we top it off with uh, with sour cream. So not your average pizza. That's for sure. Now, this is the mushroom pizza we made earlier. Um, it was baked for about 20 minutes in the oven. Nice and golden brown on the bottom. Mushrooms come out great. So much flavor in these mushrooms because they're fresh. Makes for a great pizza. So not only do you guys obviously make pizzas, we've, we've seen that process, but you also have salads and sandwiches. So why don't yes. you maybe let us know what's in your, uh, your salad bar and what kind of salads you offer. Sure, right now Angel's making a, a large Greek salad uh, to eat in. Uh, we only offer Greek salads. Oh, you can that's get it. them any way you want, but Greek salads. Um, everything's fresh, cut it that morning, fresh produce. Our olives are imported from Greece, pepperoncinis from Greece. 
Um, and, and then, of course, a Greek salad is not a Greek salad without feta cheese. Oh, yeah. And nothing goes better with a feta cheese and a Greek salad. Nothing's better than feta. <laughs> than our homemade Greek dressing. <laughs> we make our own dressing. And it's all, everything's homemade, everything's fresh. It's great. It looks delicious. And she goes topping it with a nice heap of feta cheese. Heap or two of feta cheese. <laughs> green peppers, uh, a couple couple uh, olives, and the peppuccini. Peppuccinis are nice, you know, they're not, not as hot as jalapenos, mm -hmm. but they give, give you a little spice, nice yep. flavor to them. And that's our large Greek. And it looks like the calzone is just coming out of the oven as well. Yes, these take a little bit to bake because it's so big. And you notice there's a cut down the middle. Uh, yeah. Jerry had to a, had a cut it open halfway through cooking because it is so big, the inside won't cook. Right. And is that a normal process for all the calzones, regardless of what's inside them? It's just cut them to yes, sort of is. open it up? He does uh, four cuts, so it comes out into ten pieces. And it's, it's good enough for two. You get that with a small Greek salad, good it makes for a great dinner. That looks delicious. And we also mentioned sandwiches, so we're here, we're here at the grill. And yeah, right now Paul's putting the finishing touches on a chicken filly, which is uh, our marinated grilled chicken. He dices it up. He puts um, American cheese and some vegetables in it okay. on a bulky roll. On the side of a, a potato salad, a chips, a uh, homemade potato salad by Paul, of course. It Paul comes makes great. potato salad? Yes. Wow. Comes out great. Multi, multi <laughs> Yes, everything's homemade. And are you only open for lunch or dinner as well? No, we're open for dinner. Our hours yeah. are uh, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Oh, okay, so seven, you're open late. Yep, seven days. What other, um, what other types of sandwiches do you guys offer sure. on the menu? There's a, there's a Philly cheese we're looking at here, and then uh, we also offer chicken parm, again, with our homemade chicken mm -hmm. breast marinated chicken breast. Uh, grilled too, a lot of places just use a flat top. We actually have a Chabro grill here. So you get the, you get the, the backyard flavor out yes. of the chicken. You know? Authentic. The, our most popular sandwiches are, are uh, club sandwiches. Okay. So a lot of club sandwiches, anywhere you want it. Hamburg club, roast beef club, chicken yeah. club. All customized just like the pizzas, Any, and whether you want lettuce, you want tomato, them. mayonnaise, and sure. mustard, whatever. Not whatever a problem. You want. Ch challenge us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we are here with our final products. We've got a cheese pizza, a mushroom pizza, a... That's a chicken broccoli calzone. Chicken and broccoli calzone, the Tex-Mex, which looks delicious, and then our large Greek salad. Um, everything looks delicious. Is there, um, is there are, are any, of, any of these your favorites, would you say? I would dig into this, this one, uh, this, this, one, this, this one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all my favorite. <laughs> So getting back sort of to the ingredients, you had mentioned everything is, is nothing's processed. Everything is Right, every, every, everything is fresh, made to order, um, the least hands possible, you know. Like right. My brother and I make the dough. It comes here, mm -hmm. you know, fresh. We, uh, we make the ingredients of the sauce, and the sauce is blended there. The cheese is blended there. They are meaning I'm sorry, they're same. in our broccoli yeah. store. So everything's made fresh and shipped here every morning. So we try fresh, try consistent. You know, how, if you sat down at a meal, how would you want your meal? You know, the best possible mm -hmm. meal you could get. You know, that's, that's what we try to do. Right. That's what we try to do. That's great. And um, what is the atmosphere like around when somebody comes into the Cape Cod Cafe? What should they expect? Well, you expect that you're greeted with a smile. <laughs> we, have some, we have some great employees here. Very happy to be here. Mm -hmm. They love their jobs. They love helping the customers. And the customers here are unbelievable anyway. Right. It's uh, a great area. So it yeah. is. And I grew up in this area too, which yeah. is, makes it even better for me. I, I appreciate coming back here. And, and the town is very supportive of us. It's very mm -hmm. nice. Good. Yeah. Good. Um, would you uh, would you say that one item is more popular than the other? Uh, is there anything that sort of you find that just continues to sell regardless of well, it seems like day our, of the week? Yeah, it seems like uh, no matter what, the cheese pizza is going to go. Yeah. And that's our most popular. Standard. That's our most popular. Uh, people say it's been the same for 50 years, you know. We like to think it has been. We work hard to keep it the same. And you guys are pretty steeped in tradition anyways as far as it being a family business and, and sort of bringing it up your name. You had mentioned your grandfather. My grandfather, yeah, his pictures on the wall here, yes. He, he started it. He, he bought it back in 1947. Okay. It started in 1939. But he bought it in 47, worked real hard, built it up. My mother and my father took it over and uh, they built it up more. I'm here, my brother and I. And get, the next generation yeah, taking just, over. Yeah, they, they did a good job for us. Great. So. Very lucky. Well, everything looks delicious. Do you want to tell the folks where we can find you and how to contact you if you have an online, you know, sure. menu or anything yeah. like uh, that? Sure. Yeah, we're at uh, 995 Broadway.
Right on 138 in Rainham, between the milk bottle and, uh, and 495. Mm -hmm. Nice um, central location. Yes, yes. Easy to get to. And our website is capecodcafepizza.com. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. We so much appreciate it. I can't wait to dig in. Yeah, let's eat. Thank you very All right, much. Let's All right. Eat. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Let's eat. Da -da 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 -da. Let's eat. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Let's eat. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Today, we are going to be going inside to Harry's La Casa Mia. If you've driven down Broadway, I'm sure you recognize the iconic sign. They're located at 840 Broadway. Today, we're going to be going inside Harry's, speaking with the owner, and going into the kitchen, and uh, they're gonna make one of their specialties for us. So why don't you come on inside with us, and we'll go check it out. So we are here this afternoon with John Travelloni, who is one of the owners, as well as a chef here at Harry's La Casa Mia. Thanks for joining us, John. You're welcome. So just give us a little bit of history about the place. I mean, okay. people who live in Rainham have seen sure. the sign, have driven by it, so um, give us some background. My family is from the north end of Boston, and we have uh, all together five restaurants in our family. And my uh, grandmother opened up the first Italian restaurant in the North End. It's still run by family today. And that's what That's Mother name. Anna's restaurant. And my cousins run it now. And La Scala is also in Randolph. Um, my Aunt Felicia's restaurant and Ricardo's restaurant. Wow. And we kind of ventured out this way. Uh, didn't think traveling into Boston was the best for us. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of the alternative to driving into the North End, right. but having the North End food in Rainham. That's great. A little North End close to home. That's right. And how long has this particular location been in place? Um, well, this new building is uh, 10 years old, and we were on the other building next door for 20. Okay. So we're here for 30 years. So it's definitely a staple. Yes. Staple yes. in the area. It's a um, obviously, Italian food. Do you offer um, catering or banquet? We do. We do many. Things? We do uh, trays of food, especially on the holidays. We specialize in bridal showers, rehearsal dinners, baby showers. Mm -hmm. You know, we do bereavement dinners too during the day because the restaurant isn't open, but we open specialty for that. So you're open for dinner hours, but then you can yes, open up for special absolutely. occasions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lunch and, and dinners, offices. You know, a lot of the local, uh, you know, companies call us and we do parties for them during the day. That's great. Well, can you give us some sort of a feel on what the atmosphere is like? Maybe when the place is, is hopping, when it's busy? Yeah, what, you know, a lot, a lot of regulars. A lot of people yeah. come here, feel it's their home. Everything's made to order. Mm -hmm. We can make stuff off the menu. A lot of my staff, really proud of them. A lot of them have been here 20 years, wow. 30 years. So very loyal, loyal staff. Even the staff. Younger, younger staff, you know, and I mean younger, like 35-year-old girls, they started at 14, this 15, they're still here. Wow. You know what I mean? That's and a good testament to a good yeah, restaurant. Yeah, no, you know, it's, it's, it's like it, we're a family. Right. You know, so uh, really proud of the workers, you know what I mean? And uh, when, when you're here at night, uh, you know, we try walking around and making sure everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do the best farm, you know. That's great. So you are from this area. Yes, You're from Rainham. Born in Rainham. Yeah. Born in Rainham. How does it feel growing up in this community, having your family such a big part of this community? I mean, you're you're probably very well known in the area, and then being able to give back to the community in the way that you do. It, that must be a great feeling. Yeah, it is. I, I know my mother really had a lot to do with the church way back when, mm -hmm. and it's it's fun to see everything come full circle with all the people now that. Our older that I grew up with, right. that you know, kind of tutors you on your way to life. You and know? you had mentioned too that your father still comes in every day. Every checks day, things he's out. 80 years old. Harry comes in eight every day and makes the sauce and and does his thing, you know. And he's just he keeps running. Right, and still so, his restaurant. Uh, and it's really good <laughs> to see all these people, and they constantly come in here, and it's nice to see them all. So, yeah. you know, it, it's like the little town comes to rain him. Right. And it's good to cook for him. You know, we have a good time. Uh, so, can, will you take us back in the kitchen now, John, and show sure, us show sure. us the kitchen I, and I, maybe make a couple of dishes yeah, for us? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, we can do that, and I might. I'll make some. We just did a holiday in uh, the Taste of Taunton. Yep. And uh, pretty popular. We have the butternut raviolis. We were just talking about those. Well, <laughs> As a matter we'll of make fact. those, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll make an Italian uh, specialty dish too. Excellent. Okay. Great. Let's go. Can't okay. wait. Thank you. Okay. Sure. All right, John, okay. so what are you going to make for us today? Well, I hear the crew is fond of butternut raviolis. What we'll gave it and, away? Uh, chicken masala. So I'm going <laughs> to start with chicken masala. Great. And then we'll go to butternut raviolis, okay? So I'll make one little dish here. Is, is that bu butter that you're scooping this up? Is okay. Butter. Get away here. We're going we're gonna to flour our chicken. 
And this is all done by hand, obviously. This, this is, is how everybody, somebody, or you come in and yeah. order it. This is what this we do. This is how it's done. It's not made ahead of time. You can see the big fresh box of mushrooms, hand chopped. That's right. Nothing frozen. It's not your first time chopping mushrooms, is it, John? No, no. <laughs> you You've learned, done that you before. learn to do this when you're about 10 or 12 years old. <laughs> It's a rite of passage in the Travelloni family. That's right. <laughs> and it all just goes in together. Okay. That's it. So I'm going to reach over here. Excellent. If I'm cooking on, on a Saturday night, this will be, you know, fresh garlic, garlic salt, very, not even no salt, very little, just a touch. And then we're going to put it on the stove. And let's see, we, see if we can, we're just getting here, so things are lit right up. And we're going to let that cook. So now I got my homemade butternut ravs right here. Those are going to cook. And those are just boiling in Those are just boiling, boiling water. water. And what we're going to do again is grab some butter. OK. The pan's already nice and hot. This is an Alfredo mix that we made earlier. OK. This is our grated cheese. And this is the sauce for the raviolis. This is okay. the sauce for the butternut wraps. A little garlic salt. Again, it's pretty basic. It's garlic salt, um, pepper, grated cheese. And we're not going to turn that on just yet. We're going to, once those are done, then I'll slide that okay. over. And Got it. that's normally what we do. As slips come in, I fill all the burners up to your left, to your right, and we just keep cooking and we go. We go all Saturday night. And that's and how you, you get do two it. or three trays There's going at a prepped. time. There's nothing prepped ahead of time. Again. Right. It's fresh chicken, fresh veal. Each each fresh dish made shrimp. as it it's comes just, in, right? That's how we've done it. That's how we've done yep. it in the past. And how um, how many chefs are usually on the line at once? Is it just you making all? Just making one. All? Just one. Just sometimes two yep. on a Saturday, but right. most of the time, either me, Kerry, or Kelly are in here. Yeah. They've both been cooking for me for quite a so long time. So each dish gets individual attention. There's, you know, if there's That's no right. th one plate goes to this guy, goes to that yep. guy. No, no, no. Everything each, stays. Each dish is done by the chef. Got it. So mixing that all together. Flipping the, flipping the chicken. Yeah, so normally you want to try to brown it up. And this is, this is my salad wine. Look at that. So we're cooking away, as my grandmother would say, a little color <laughs> from the sauce. That's how it gives it its color. Those are the Excuse raviolis. Me. Get out of your way. So we're going to let those drain a bit. Here. Mmm. Looks like the sauce is simmering up. Yeah, sauce is simmering. This is all about timing. You know, you cook it too long, it, 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 it separates. Right. You gotta, you gotta, gotta kinda get it out. And if, right you know, and if your customer is, somebody's ordering the, the ravs and somebody's ordering the marsala, you want it to come out at the same time. Well, you that's want the thing, one to right. be sitting longer than the other. That's right. That's why I started the raviolis a little bit after the right. chicken. Right, because the chicken takes a little, right. little longer. color to it. Yep. So then we'll just take these. Get dumped right in. Dump them right in there. A little more cheese. Let's see. It's good. It smells great in here. Yeah. So fresh parsley. Parsley. There's always movement. Always got it when you're cooking at night. You're always moving around. There you go. 
there are the raviolis. A little bit of cheese to top it. Parsley. A little more cheese again. You can never have enough cheese. No, you can never have enough. <laughs> And so this would be the time when I'd call for my waitress, or Carrie would call for the waitress. There you go, just like that. There you go. And you saw nothing prepped ahead of time. No, it was all, no, it was all fresh, all, fresh. all, yeah. Can't wait, I cannot wait to try this. So uh, why don't you tell us, John, a little bit more about the atmosphere of the restaurant? What, what is it like when it's a full house, and you know, what, what's the vibe like in when somebody comes comes to Harry's? Well, all the food's cooked to order again. So I mean, all the all my workers are trying to take care of everything as much as they can. Mm -hmm. um, we already saw that the chef's working hard back yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and this my thing. girls and the girls that have been here forever, they're they're very attentive and they want to make everybody feel good. Great. And so that's that's what we do, and and people come in for that. Mm -hmm. You know, they have special waitresses that they want to see, you know what right. I mean, like Jill. Yeah, and Jill is actually bringing over the, the uh, food that you just prepared yes. like back in the That's kitchen. The Everything masala. fresh, nothing was frozen, nothing was, you know, prepped in advance. This looks delicious. Why don't you um, tell, tell the folks where we can reach you again in case we want to book a function or make sure. a reservation? Sure. Uh, Harry's La Casamilla, rainham.com. Phone number is 508-824-1968. And anytime we're here to answer the phone and to make reservations for functions, bridal showers, rehearsal dinners, you know, graduation holidays, parties, yeah. holidays, and weekends, especially weekends, reservations. It's best to make them. You don't need them, but it's best to make them. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us, John. This looks great. You're Let, welcome. Let's eat.